Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be rescaping my Hillstream Aquarium that I keep for my Sipper and Gulbies. Since I've recently moved into a new flat, I think it's time to give these Gulbies a new home too. The main hardscape I'm going to be using is Scottish River Boulders. By using this kind of hardscape, I'm hoping to create a simple but natural kind of looking Hillstream-esque aquarium. So with all that being said, let's get scaping. Let's start off with the aquarium I'm going to be using. For this scape, I'm going to be using a 50cm by 30cm by 30cm aquarium. This aquarium will hold about 45 litres of water or about 12 US gallons. This is also a custom made aquarium, so I asked for an opti white front glass panel for the aquarium. This glass is clearer compared to iron glass, which is common in most aquariums, so we'll get to see the aquarium a lot better. I also got clear silicon, which helps to give the whole aquarium a nicer look. Before I'm putting any substrate in the aquarium, I'm putting down an egg crate mesh. Because this scape's going to be heavy on rocks, I want to try and make sure the weight's distributed evenly throughout the tank. This will hopefully prevent too much stress from being on the bottom of the aquarium so it won't crack. The substrate I'm going to be using for this scape is some Hugo Kamishi Fine Gravel. I wanted to reuse some of the gravel from the previous scape as it still looks really good, and also this gravel contains a lot of beneficial bacteria which will be really good for a filter. I found the easiest way to spread gravel out is using a paintbrush when you're trying to aquascape. The paintbrush just allows you to spread the gravel out really quickly. For this scape I wanted to create a bit more height for some of the rocks. To do this I got a filter bag and filled it up with some filter media which will help to prop up the rocks later on. This is a great little trick to add more height without adding extra substrate to the aquarium. Having a really thick layer of substrate in your aquarium could cause a build up of anaerobic bacteria which isn't good for your aquarium. The stone I'm going to be adding to this aquarium now is the main focal point of the aquascape. This is a massive Scottish river boulder and you can see already it's starting to fill out the aquarium pretty well. The stone's going to be a really good focal point which hopefully all the gobies will graze on throughout the day and night. Now that I roughly know how the stone's going to look in the scape, I'm just going to put some more gravel on top of the filter media bag. I mentioned earlier that I'm using Hugo Commission Fine Gravel. I really like using this gravel as it has a really fine texture to it. It also has a really nice colour to it which I think works in the Hillstream kind of setup. Again I'm going to be using my paintbrush to spread the gravel out across the aquarium. I want to try and keep less substrate at the front and more at the back. It's a nice little trick to try and create more depth in your aquascape. Hopefully it will make the aquarium look bigger than it actually is. With a nice layer of substrate I can now add the rock back to the aquarium. I'm making sure it fits really nicely in the substrate and doesn't move about too much. Last move we want is this stone moving and cracking the glass of the aquarium. Now I'm going to add the secondary stone to the scape. I really like using these Scottish River boulders, they have such a variety of colours. When the water is added later on you'll see these stones will change colour completely. The secondary stone also allows the primary stone to lean up against something. I decided to reuse some of the old stones I got as I didn't want to waste them. I gave them a really good clean so there's not much algae on them but in a few weeks time there'll be algae back on these stones. I wanted to try to create a little bit more height on this stone as it was a little bit flat. What I'm doing now is I'm just trying to prop up the stone a little bit with some substrate. So with our secondary stone now fixed in place, I'm going to start adding more rocks to the scape. I'm just testing out all the different kind of stones I have to try and create a natural look as I can. What I like to try and do is make sure the stones are kind of aligned by their angles. By doing this, hopefully it creates the illusion that the rocks are flowing with the direction of the water. To add a little bit more detail, I decided to add some smaller river stones. This will help to create a nice little bit of contrast between all the rocks in the scape. These little stones will be excellent places for stiff and gobies to graze on. Again, I like to use a paintbrush just to neaten up the gravel a little bit. As I was adding the stones to the aquarium, the gravel did get moved around a little bit, so I'm just going to tidy it up. Finally for some micro details I got some aquarium gravel which I'm just going to scatter around the rocks randomly. This will help to break up the contrast between the medium river stones and the substrate. Because I have stiff and in this aquarium they're probably going to move these pebbles around so it's not going to look like this forever. Although this necessarily isn't a bad thing because it helps to make a more dynamic scape. It's quite fun to watch a goby move stones around and dig holes around the aquarium. I 
I'm pretty happy with the layout of the stones right now, so I'm going to slowly start filling the aquarium with water. I don't have a piping system or pump, so I'm going to have to do this by hand. It takes a little bit of time, but I'm in no rush. I'm just using regular tap water with some dechlorinator in it. The area I moved to has medium to soft water, so this is going to be really good for the stiff and gobies. I'm hoping they'll be happier in this water compared to the harder water they were living in before. With the aquarium now filled, I'm just going to give everything a little clean over to remove any excess water. As I was going through my collection of stones, I found one that might fit this scape pretty well. This is going to be our tertiary stone, and I think it helps balance the whole scape out just a little bit more. It's hard to see from this angle, but this stone does actually make the scape look a little bit better. With the scape now filled up with water, it's time to add the filter equipment. For the scape, I'm going to be using an Oase Thermo Filter Smart. This external filter has a heater built inside to it, so this means there's one less piece of equipment in the aquarium. I'm going to be using glass lead pipe, so this will help to create a minimalistic kind of look for the aquarium. The minimal look will help to make the whole scape look a lot more clean in my opinion. For hill stream tanks, I think it's best to use a jet pipe. Out of all the lily pipe designs you can choose, this will provide the most flow for the aquarium. The Stefan Goeys will appreciate the extra flow that these pipes provide. As I turn the filter on, you can see there's a lot of muck that just sent to the aquarium. This is just from the filter restarting again, so in a few hours time it will all clear up again. When I turned the filter back on, I didn't fully seal the system. This caused the filter to leak out a lot of water and make a big mess on the floor. So before you guys turn your filters back on, always make sure they're fully sealed, otherwise you have to clean up a lot of water. Luckily for me, it was only a few litres, so it was quite easy to clean up in the end. Once the filter's up and running again, the water will start to get clearer as all the debris and particles get filtered out of the water. So this is escape about two weeks after I initially set up. As you can see the water is looking a lot clearer now. We even got some nice brown algae growth which is going to be really good for the gobies. As they are constant grazers this is a really good free food source for them. But also the algae makes the whole scape look a bit more natural. I think it's nice to have some algae growth on the rocks as I think before the whole scape looks a bit too clean. That's just my personal taste though, some people might like the cleaner look over this algae look. With the gobies now back in the tank this whole scape has a sense of life to it now. These Stefan gobies are so fun to keep. They have so much personality and colour which makes them so different compared to other fish you can keep. Hopefully they'll be happy in this new scape they got now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me settle this aquarium for my Stiffen on Gobies. I let the aquarium settle down for a few days before I re-added the Stiffen on Gobies back. And I'm recording this video a few weeks after I set up this aquarium and as you can see there's some nice brown algae growth happening on the rocks. This is going to be a really good food source for the gobies so they're going to be happy grazing on that throughout the day and night. I'll probably make an update video showing you guys how I maintain this aquarium so if you guys are interested leave a comment below. And just before I go if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos.